Hi, I'm John. And I'm Joe. And we're here with sandblastingmachines.com. And today we will be installing a twin line hose as well as an RLX remote control handle. That's right, Joe. We're going to be hooking the twin line hose up uh, back at the pot on our inlet valve and our outlet valve. And then on the opposite end, we'll be hooking into our RLX pneumatic control handle, okay. uh, often in the industry referred to as the dead man switch. All right, that sounds good. Let's get started. So now we'll take our 18 inch hose and we're going to start just to make it a little bit easier. We're going to come off of our outlet valve and hook it up to where our twin line hose will, the fittings are for the inlet valve. Uh, Joe, if you just want to take a quick look at the book, I'm going to start here on the outlet valve. All right. And yes. Screw into our brass fitting. And then which side of the brass fittings on the outlet valve are we going to? So you're going to the up arm. Actually, it looks like it needs to be spun yeah. here. Oh, good thing this is on a swivel. So we could just swivel this into place to make the Right. Hose is a little bit easier to slide up in there and tighten up. All right. So we're on the right side now, facing up with our 18 inch inline. And again, this hose is going to allow inlet and outlet valve. It's kind of like a bridge to communicate with one another. Okay, when great. one's closing, one's opening, vice versa. From here, we now take our three foot twin line hose. And this is where we're going to want to pay attention to left and right side, just so when we hook up to our LX control handle, uh, we're, we're hooking in the correct way. There's an inside and an outside. Uh, Joe, if you just want to confirm again, uh, which side I'm going to take, looks like the... The left side is going to go in the, in the valve. The uh, left side yep, goes left actually side. in the valve. Oh, no. Le That's all right. So left side is going to go into the yeah. brass fitting brass for the fitting. twin line. I'm going to give it a little swivel here just to make it a little bit easier. And then right side, where are we going? Right side is going actually into the valve this right time. Right into the valve. Got okay. it. And the reason they give this little three foot extension is for when you're done blasting, uh, you don't have to wrap up 25 foot of hose, All right. wrap it around your machine and then you're lugging it around. You could just unhook at the extension part, uh, which is gonna be our next step. What we're gonna do here is use our unions to union the three foot extension to our actual 25 foot twin line, which is gonna lead out to our RLX pneumatic remote control handle. Oh, yes, give me one of these, I'll help you out. Yeah, if you wanna do that side and I'll do this. All right, and these and are? Both sides are the same, just a union, so we're just gonna screw them in. And again, we could tighten these up with our wrenches uh, when we're done. All right. Here is our 25 foot twin line hose. And there's really no reason uh, if we want to uncoil it, we don't have to. We could just, for purposes of this installation, we'll pull one end out. Okay. Again, paying attention. We better unwrap it. Yeah, might as well to make sure we have the left and right. Right. And here is our left and here is our right. Uh, what we'll need next is the RLX pneumatic control handle, also referred to as the dead man switch. Uh, again, the hose going on the left side that comes out of the inlet valve is going to go into looking at it, the left side of the RLX pneumatic control handle. And this has basically the same unions that we just used to connect our 25 foot and three foot. There you go, find the threads. Again, we could tighten these up with our adjustable wrenches. So, I mean, it seems here a lot of the key parts of the installation are just making sure that everything is fit uh, well um, with a good seal in place and uh, paying attention to the hose. Hoses seem very, uh, very important. Correct, correct. And again, basically all we're doing is completing a, a circuit of air. Uh, air is coming in through our moisture separator. Once it gets into here, depending on where we're at on the dead man handle, we're going to tell what we want it to do. Are we going to allow it to just exhaust through? Or are we going to hit the handle, allow the pot to pressurize, and then we're blasting? All right, great. Well, I mean, that seems uh, to be a good installation there. Right, and you, you always have your book. Uh, all these parts come with uh, installation instructions, and we like to try to put a video with it just to aid in the book's descriptions. All right, great. Well, we now have our RLX pneumatic control handle install installed. Yes. 
All right, so for our final step in the blast machine assembly, we are going to be installing the blast hose. That's right, Joe. This is the one inch blast hose, Klemco's one inch two braid blast hose. Uh, we bought it as a coupled package, meaning the coupler's already here on one side, and we also have the nozzle holder on the other side. Okay. So in this step, we'll be attaching the blast hose to the pot, attaching our RLX pneumatic control handle to the hose, and inserting our nozzle, and we'll be good to blast. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take the coupled side of the blast hose and go ahead and couple it up to the crow's foot on the bottom of the pot. Basically, we're just going to line everything up. Go ahead and give it a twist, and we'll insert our safety pin. All right. Now we're going to take the RLX pneumatic control handle and attach it to the blast hose. Right, and you said it's just uh, zip ties work fine here. There's no screws or anything like that, and um, basically where to put them is up to the operator's discretion? Exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, the zip ties is all you need. There's no screws, nothing like that. And as far as placement of the handle, uh, roughly about a foot, foot and a half back from the end of the hose is, is where most guys like it. All right, great. So once those are set, I guess uh, next I'm going to grab the washer for the CT nozzle. I'm going to place that in first and then follow that up with the CT nozzle, just hand tightening that in. Yep. Once again, no tools required. Just go ahead and give it a good screw in and uh, it should be good to go. All right. Well, I got to say that was a pretty quick three easy steps there. It was. All right. So thanks for watching another video in our tutorial series on how to assemble a blast machine. And make sure to stay tuned on the sandblastingmachines.com YouTube channel for more videos uh, pertaining to sandblasting, tutorials, and basically anything industry related. And for Sandblasting Machines, I'm Joe. And I'm John. And take care, guys.